This project started in a robotics competition about three years ago. The goal was to work in small teams and build four pound fighting robots. The first prototype was laser cut out of wood. Originally, the plan was to make a wedge type robot that was designed to have a really good drive system. Unfortunately, the drive system was absolutely terrible. It had lots of speed and torque, but barely any traction. It would just drift around corners and lose grip incredibly easily. But after seeing some videos online, I decided to scrap that design and make a melty brain robot. These types of robots spin their entire body and quickly change the wheel speed to move in a direction while still spinning. I came up with this as the new design. It used a steel tooth as the weapon and the body was made of 8 inch PVC pipe. It used the same motors as the previous design, only now it had cast urethane tires. It performed okay. Spin, go. The method of driving while spinning worked out better than I expected, and it was completely open loop. It didn't have accelerometers or gyroscopes like most melty brains do. It was only based on wheel position. I used a channel on the transmitter to tune the light pulse. This way it knew which way was forward as it was spinning. It had reliability issues and the motors ended up being underpowered. It would sometimes lose power to one or both motors after impacts. It did pretty bad during the actual competition. The tooth was too high to hit most other robots and the reliability issues were apparent. And even with the new tires, it still drifted around quite easily, which made it hard to control. The next year, I completely redesigned it again. I still intended on having it operate the same way as the previous version, so I started building that one. It was made out of a block of UHMW that was machined. It had the same type of urethane tires, only much wider. When it came to testing, I was amazed how well it turned out. The tires and motors made a huge difference. It almost stuck to the ground and had so much traction. The battery life was also way better. The other one could maybe get 15 minutes of use, but this one could last an entire day on one charge. Unfortunately, this is as far as that version got. School and all the competitions were closed due to COVID and it was never finished. That's where the final version comes in. It is very similar to the last. I'm hoping when this one is finished, it'll last a while before I need a new design. The big difference is this one isn't meant to battle other robots. It's meant to be fun to drive around places. So naturally, it doesn't have a sharp tooth sticking out the front, and a lot more effort was put into making it compact. As you can see, it's made out of a 6 inch square piece of material. This should make it easy to make and replace pieces if they get damaged. It also has replaceable wear bars on the top and bottom to protect the main body. It was quite challenging to get everything to fit in such a small area. I had to tilt the O-drive and cut the motor shaft shorter. I just got the stock for the body, so in the next video, I'm going to show the fastest way to turn useful material into scrap. See you next time.